Cancer, welcome to your career reading. We're going to take a look at your past, present and future energies when it comes to your professional life. I'll also get guidance from your spirit team on what you can do more of to just attract overall good energies when it comes to your career. So stick with me till the end, Cancer. Let's just dive right in and take a look at what's been happening in the recent past when it comes to your career. We've got the world card. Okay, amazing. What's happening in the present energies for Cancer? We've got seven of wands. And in the near future, you've got the six of wands. Victory and success is coming your way. Right now at the bottom of the deck, you've got the four of pentacles. So I think maybe you're in a place right now where you're trying to save money. You're being pretty conservative about your expenses. You're holding on to your coin. And I think given everything that's happening in the world, I think that's not a bad strategy at all, Cancer. Um, there is some conflict in the recent past or maybe it's happening right now. You do feel a little bit conflicted about your financial position um, and perhaps you're not sure about your job or you feel a little bit of job insecurity. Um, all understandable given the context of the world right now. So let's see what your reading has for you. In the recent past, I think you've closed out a big chapter in your life or you've um, it could also mean a very specific message for some others that you've been traveling quite a bit for work or you've been trying to expand your business globally or you've recently had to relocate for a new job. Take it as it resonates. In the current energy, I see you either being pretty defensive about something or being very resilient. So it depends on the clarifiers that we will pull on this card. It can go either way because this card can mean either you're pushing back anything that comes to like, you know, uh, sway you from your current position and you're holding on and you're holding a strong stance. Or it can mean that you're fighting something off. So you're being pretty defensive about something. So we'll see as we build further into your reading. But in the near future, I see victory. I see success with the Six of Wands. And this is more like public recognition, right? So there are different cards in the tarot that indicate, you know, getting a positive outcome, getting a win being successful but this one for me is all about being successful at something but also getting that public recognition for it like people will see you for what a great job you've done when it comes to work so uh i can't wait to clarify these cards let's dig in let's see why is the world card in the recent past here the ten of wands yes again another so this is a second confirmation that you've closed out a chapter that felt very difficult. Like you felt like you were carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. Um, show me more on this Ten of Wands. Show me more on this Ten of Wands. The King of Wands. Um, and the Page of Swords. Perhaps you were dealing with an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius at work. Um, and it was more about the style of communication. Uh, this could be a manager. This could be a colleague. This could be a business partner. Something about the way of communicating at work was quite burdensome. It left you feeling quite weighed down and you've put an end to something that wasn't working out. Maybe you had an online business, e-commerce, something like that is what I'm hearing. Uh, so you've closed out a difficult chapter and now you're at the seven of wands. So why is the seven of wands in the present energy? You've got strength, beautiful. You've got temperance. Wow, big energy is coming through and you've got the King of Swords. Interesting. I see, um, since this is a general reading, right? So please take the messages that resonate with your specific situation. I see a lot of you bossing up or leveling up with this King of Swords. I think if in the past you were confused about anything, now you see clearly. Either the truth has come out or, you, or you've spoken your truth uh, and you're not like, you know, budging from it. Like you're going to stand up for your truth with the seven of wands. So this one is more about being resilient, not so much about being defensive because you've got the strength and temperance. Whatever happened in the past gave you a lot of, you know, new strength and gave you a lot of resilience and you've come to accept whatever transpired and you're learning to trust in yourself a lot more and you're learning to trust in the universe's plan for you when it comes to your career. I think you're, you've done a really good job of turning a slightly challenging situation into something that you can learn from, into something that you can derive some lesson out of. 
and you're pushing back anything that deters you from that path of healing. So I see immense healing underway. Um, so that's really nice to see uh, cancer. Let's see what's happening in the near future. And I'm sure that this healing and the sense of resilience brings you to victory in the near future. So what's the six of wands? The knight of wands, okay. What else? We've got the five of wands and we've got the three of swords. There you go. So this heartbreak, this disappointment, something that you had to go through, okay? Or maybe something was on and off, like you would feel happy some days at work and some days you would feel like really disconnected from what you're doing because the Knight of Wands can mean very on and off kind of energy. I think you, you get past all of that in the near future and you start to stand up in your right and you start to see success at work. You start to see the wheel of fate going in your favor in the, in the near future. But I'm a little bit guided to go a little bit further on this Three of Swords and the Five of Wands. What is this Three of Swords and the Five of Wands? The Hanged Man, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. So I think whatever this disappointment is, right, because you see this Four of Cups showing up again, which is kind of similar energy to feeling a bit blah, feeling a bit like not so engaged at work. You start to have a different perspective when it comes to your career, when it comes to your professional life with this hanged man. You've had to compromise a few things in the past to get to where you're going to in the near future, Cancer. And that helps you feel victorious. So it, this could go two ways. For some of you, this is happening in the 3D world where you actually win something. You actually get maybe that promotion, you get a salary hike, you get a new job offer, whatever it is that you're seeking and whatever is success for you when it comes to your professional life. And for some others, I think this is a very internal kind of victory. Like you reconfigure the way you think about whatever happened to you in the past and that helps you see joy and relief and happiness when it comes to your profession. Okay, uh, very, very interesting. Let's see what perhaps could be holding you back right now, Cancer. Let's get you some guidance from your spirit guides. Is there anything potentially holding Cancer back? Again, I see that Four of Cups. There is this overall sense of feeling a little bit unfulfilled at work or bored. Perhaps the job that you're at or the work that you do right now has stopped challenging you. It used to challenge you in the past, but it doesn't anymore. And that's holding you back. So I think you should investigate that and see if it's not working out for you, what needs to change? And before you get to the solution, understand how this kicked in. Like what happened? Why did your level of enthusiasm and engagement change at work? The hermit, I think you've been maybe spending a lot of time by yourself. Uh, there could be an invitation to connect with more like-minded people, maybe open up your network a little bit, start meeting and networking with people who could help you in the near future. Because I think you've been kind of trying to navigate this whole situation by yourself and there is a need to come out of this hermit mode and connect with more people and the tower. What's holding you back is that there is something that needs to be closed out because we saw the world card in the recent past, right? But for some reason, you still continue to hold on to it. And the universe is saying it's time to let this tower come crashing down, let it crumble. It is in your divine purpose to let this chapter close out so that a brand new chapter of victory and success can enter exactly. And at, this at the bottom of this deck, we've got the Ten of Swords. So there is something difficult and I do empathize with you, Cancer, because the Ten of Swords is not an easy energy to work with. This almost feels like somebody betrayed your trust. You've been stabbed in the back, but the time has come to release it, Cancer. As hard as it is, Talk to people, maybe get help if you need to. Talk to your friends who can help you process this. You've been trying to heal through this alone. And there is a need for you to open up to more people. Open your heart up. Let people help you through this situation. What can Cancer focus on to invite more abundance in your life? We've got the King of Cups and the Eight of Cups again. If you start to just trust the universe and start to move on, from this difficult situation, I see a lot of emotional maturity coming up in you. I see you almost like rising like a phoenix, you know, from, from its ashes and looking at life from a different perspective. 
finding that courage finding that strength to move on from what was difficult and this internal strength resilience is what helps you get to victory in the next chapter of your career how beautiful cancer and soon you'll have options and you'll have a decision to take when it comes to your career i'm going to get you a few oracle cards let's go to the universe has your back oracle let's see what message it has for you today when i lean toward love i am led exactly i have a feeling that you need to tap into your heart chakra a lot more you need to let people in you need to talk about what's bothering you you need to let your heart have some air time in your life you know let your heart open up let it tell you why it's hurting um because sometimes some wounds can only be dealt with emotionally not in an objective or rational way so it's time to address that inner hurt the disappointment what else from the sacred destiny oracle you've got security so perhaps you've been thinking a lot about job security thinking a lot about financial security and all that is well and good but i think maybe you've been holding on too tight to some kind of security which perhaps is almost like an illusion doesn't really exist the universe wants you to go within and think about what's holding you back are you holding on too tight to financial and job security and therefore you might miss another bigger opportunity or might miss your true divine purpose when it comes to your career so this is a very deep and interesting reading cancer let me know if it resonated with you uh leave me a comment in the comment section below and please do hit that like button if this video resonated and subscribe to my channel take care cancer bye bye